Where you're standing right now is the welcome to Lockhart Field. Lockhart Field is the sanctuary this week that we shared with you for Rick and for many others. Now, I want to share with you also that next week we're going to dive into Acts chapter 19 and show you a little bit about the way so you can understand the way. But today, we are here at a welcome sign. Today, we are here at a beginning. Today, we are at a place that when people pull in here, they're heading down to that football field and a welcome sign is here so that people feel just that. They feel welcome. But at the same time, it's introducing you as to where it is that you are coming. In the Bible, I believe that the way is there because it is a welcome sign. It is a welcome sign for people to take their walk to another step, to take their walk to becoming a disciple of Christ. Everywhere we go, there are little signs that we have in our life. We're going to do a piece on signs coming up here in the very near future. But right now, I want to show you the final sign that is amazing to me, a sign that was put up after Rick passed away. And as you'll see above me, that sign is the new name for this road heading down to Lockhart Field. And that name is Caterly Way. I don't believe it's an accident that this place was called Caterly Way because of the way that he lives. And I don't believe it's an accident that a young man is now coaching on these same very fields that Rick coached on. And that man is Rick Caterly Jr. See, he was taught the way by his father and his father passed that on to his son. And now his son will pass that on to the next generation. And he makes that choice and we make that choice every day to live in such a way that others can see Christ. Challenge yourself today.